Hello and welcome back friends. In this video, we will look at the send email activity within Automation Studio. Now, if you want to send out automated emails uh, from Marketing Cloud, this is one way to do it. There is another option where you can actually send out automated send emails uh, through Journey Builder, where it has like a single step send. But Automation Studio also has that option. So if you look at the activities on, on this page uh, towards the bottom here, you will actually see the send email activity. Now, for us to configure send email, uh, you have to like first go and create uh, the different um, emails under the user initiated send definitions. So this is where you actually configure emails within Marketing Cloud, uh, the, the, the definitions of like the, the emails that need to be sent out if it's triggered within Marketing Cloud. So if you have um, like email send definitions that are going to be triggered from an external system, um, such as like, let's say you have an external system and that's going to trigger in through an API, that those would be under triggered sense. So anything that's going to be triggered from within Marketing Cloud is called user initiated sense. So in this particular example, I have like two uh, user initiated email send definitions that I've actually created in, in Marketing Cloud Email Studio. So if I go back to Automation Studio, I try to like, you know, configure this, uh, it will only show me the user initiated sense. It will not show me any other triggered uh, send definitions. Okay, so you have to keep that in mind. So in this particular case, if I click on the high value configuration, it will load up all the properties of that particular send definition that we have already configured. It'll give you a high level idea of like, you know, what the email name is, the subject, the preheader, the audience details, and the delivery configuration as well. Okay, so if I click on done, we're done. So it will just go ahead and, and uh, pull that email uh, properties in. And then you can just schedule the email. Uh, when do you want to like in a configure it, you can put that in. Most of the times you will you will uh, use this in combination with other activities. For example, you might have like a file transfer. Uh, you probably would have an import file and then some segmentation, like probably like a SQL query activity uh, and then a send email. Uh, so the use case would be like, you know, we are having an external file coming in on our FTP, which we will do with the file transfer, we'll bring that to a safe house, uh, then import that using import file into our data extension. We will do some a segmentation using the SQL query, and the, the resulting data extension would have the segmented audience that we want to, like, you know, send emails to. And then we would apply that in, in, this, uh, in the user-initiated send and then configure that into the send email activity. It's a straightforward uh, use case, like, you know, if you want to, like, send out emails. But it's not always mandatory that you have to use with the other activities. You can just directly uh, schedule and send out the email activity um, by itself as well. Okay. So I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching.